please come forward for this morning's offering. The rest of you may be seated. We're going to watch a video on a live and Christmas offering this morning, the intro video, talking about the theme this year. But I just want to go through the first day of this week of prayer. Uh, we're not going to be praying for a, an IMB missionary necessarily, even though they are naming some in here. The main person here to pray for is a, is a, um, a national from Spain, from Sevilla, Spain. His name is Abraham Rios, and, um, and he's, he's leading the Seville uh, Connection Team and partnering with missionaries to reach Seville with the gospel. So most of the time, in, pre in previous years, we've prayed for missionaries that are from you know, Kentucky or Texas or someplace like that to go on to Nepal or something of that nature. And those are wonderful things to pray for, and, and we do need to pray for those people. There are 4,800 of them. But they are reaching individuals who are also reaching individuals. And that's the really neat part about this. So um, just read this uh, particular story. It basically is about this young man who was reached by a short-term worker with the IMB and uh, also um, being discipled by a missionary with the IMB as well to reach his people for Christ. And so we want to pray for Abraham Rios this morning as well. So let's lift up. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day that you've given us, for this message that you brought to Brother David, preaching through the book of Luke, Lord. We do thank you for your gospel. We do thank you for your word and what it teaches. We thank you that, that there is a plan, there is a purpose uh, for our lives, and, uh, and, and that, that purpose is, is you, in, in, in you, you and your son, Jesus Christ, Lord. And uh, the fact that there is a, going to be a day that Christ will come back again and receive us into himself. We thank you for that. Father, we pray for uh, the International Mission Board and their work across the world and uh, for the Lottie Moon Christmas offering and for them to reach their goal of $175 million, for us to reach our goal as well, Lord. Uh, Father, we pray for this uh, young man, Abraham Rios of Spain, Lord, and his work and what he is doing in, in, the, in, in Spain, Lord, for his people, Lord. Father, we also pray for Martha Moore as, as she's working with him. And uh, other, other people that are working with him as well through the Southern Baptist Convention. Father, we thank you uh, that this is just one of many, many stories out there of, uh, of how you are um, using just regular individuals to meet, to meet uh, the needs of the gospel, Lord. And we do thank you for that, that there is, that your plan for reaching out to the world is, is really us, Lord. And we thank you for uh, the opportunity we have to do that because you don't need us at all, but you use us anyway. And we thank you for that. Father, we pray for this offering, and Father, we pray for the ones that are giving this offering for, for there to be a blessing during this uh, season, Lord, for them, Lord. Father, we pray for uh, especially the blessing of salvation, and for us to be thankful of that gift and to reach others with it, Lord. We'll lift up all this in Jesus' name. Amen. You awake daily, unaware of the miracle of you. Oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, three elements, those found in dust. Together form cells, muscles, bones, and blood. United in an effort to make you, you. Made of approximately seven octillion atoms, your body houses what cannot be counted or measured. You are more than atoms. You're a soul, a mind, a spirit. You live, build friendships, make music, learn, judge beauty, make a decision, cry. Yet you, understanding that you have been bought with a price and no longer belong to yourself, you wonder what it means to be totally his. All of you, led by God's Spirit, obey the greatest of all God's laws. Love. Love God and love others with all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. What if you, because of God's love and His Spirit in you, all your mind's ability to create and conceive, imagined a new world? A world as envisioned by the mind of God and gave yourself to showing the world that vision. While others seek comfort, you desire more. With all your nerve impulses alerting you to hot,
cold, rough, and smooth. A calming silence or the chaotic surge of morning traffic. You find contentment in knowing you are his. While others seek security, you with all 60,000 miles of blood vessels, enough to wrap around the world two and a half times. Wrap your arms around the unloved. You give up the safety of home or financial security in exchange for loving the marginalized and the broken, that they might know the salvation of which Jesus spoke, while others belonging only to themselves pursue rest. You, knowing all your strength is from Him, clench your muscles with divine determination to finish the race He has set before you. Instead, you apply yourself to one of the 6,000 languages spoken on earth. You apply your curiosity to advancing the gospel so that the message of God's Son is made known to every language and every people. What if you are not the only one who leaves behind self-preoccupation? Imagine your local church occupying itself with being fully God's too. While you begin to collectively understand that you are not your own, you find that your souls, your minds, and your strength work in unity. All of you in rhythm with His Holy Spirit, souls enjoying, minds imagining, strength surging, all of us. The entire church, totally his. A <coughs> um, couple of announcements before we finish off. Um, this evening, uh, we, uh, usually this is the first Sunday, so we would have a first Sunday fellowship. Nothing was announced about that or brought to me or the office and such and so we're probably not going to have it this evening so just want to let you know that um, I, I think we're going to make up for it in other ways for sure in terms of food so and fellowship as well um, but I do apologize for that um, also uh, the joyful noise choir we will have rehearsal tomorrow at 1 30 it will be in the uh, uh, it will be in regular choir room as well so 1 30 tomorrow and also we're going to have um, there there's uh, an announcement in the Cypress Heart about this, about decorating this area for Christmas. And so there's going to be tomorrow and Tuesday and, and Wednesday morning, they're going to have some decorating that's going to go on. And so spend a good portion of that. Gwen Burrell is heading that up. If you want to know more about it, just go to see uh, Miss Gwen Burrell about that. And so let's all stand and sing a final song. Wherever you leads, I'll go. Of course. Wherever he leads, I'll go. Wherever he leads, I'll go. I'll follow my Christ who loves me so. Wherever he leads, I'll go. God bless you, and I'll see you this afternoon.